Hi, this is Jacob It's Learning and USA Teens Today. We are back with the sports part two. And for those of you who are watching, we wanted to thank you. In the last slide, we went over El Verbo Jugar, but here we say El Verbo Jugar se funcionaba como nadar. So the verb, the verb to play a sport, it functions. And look at this verb form here. It mean, this ending means it has always functioned as nadar. So the endings are going to be the same. And when we review, we see very easily that what it go, huegas, huega, gamos, huegan, huegais. You see what they do. So you say, I play, you play, he, she, it plays, we play, they play, and the formal is you, like usted, you play. So you have the same endings here. Remember, a female player has to end in A, not because it's discriminatory, but simply because you have to make sure that those that you have a feminine noun, so you need a feminine article. This is an article, una, and you need the feminine ending here. So you have Juliana. I decided to write it the way they do in Italian. Juliana, juego como una jugadora de football. So you have Juliana play soccer. Jugamos el voleibol con nuestro entrenador. Pay attention to this word and try to see if you can see any of the similarities. Train, T-R-A-I-N in Spanish, but here it's T-R-E-N. El tren means a train. El tren means a train that you take somewhere, but this is also a trainer. So they call this a coach. So anytime you can, when you're reading, try to make these associations. So jugamos el voleibol con nuestro entrenador. We play volleyball with our coach. Las jugadoras juegan con su entrenadora. They play with their coach. Last video, you had SUS dedos, but that was plural. This is their coach singular, their female coach, ends in an A. You don't need an article here because you have A there. They play with their, and I just put here, their female coach so that you would understand now. Los jugadores juegan en el estadio. The players play in the stadium. Here we go again, S-T-A-D-I, S-T-A-D-I. Only thing that changes, you have an O here and a U here. Jugar, this is just a reminder of your tenses and how they work. This is from the previous part one. I did change this because this is really formal and this is actually usted. People will say if you go to parts of Mexico, if you go to parts of Panama, they'll say, ¿Cómo está usted? And it's just a formal way of saying, how are you? So somebody may say, usted ugais con el equipo. We have el verbo tocar, and it too functions as the verb jugar. So let's take a look. I play the piano. Toco el piano. Same spelling as in English. Tocas la guitarra. Same spelling, except you add R-A at the end. Tocan el violo con cello con una orquestra. Come on, guys, look at this. O-R-C-H-E-S-T-R-A in English. O-R-Q-U. E-S-T-R-A. Okay, almost the same. Tocamos muchos instrumentos. Look at this. Instrument. And you add a plural, instrumentos. We play many instruments. There are your translations. Tocó. Tocó este piano. We went over this. Tocas el violín. Toca este piano con mis dedos. Y tocamos el violoncello con nuestra instructora. Los gemelos tocan las guitarras. Tocais con or in una opera. La Cancha. 
Well, you have a visual cue, but in case you forgot, you could also do what? Remember that it's the basketball court and you have here the player, the male player, the male player, no A, no O at the end, just straight here, he jumps on the court. Nadar is to swim. Be careful with this ending because this ending here is the same as nada. Nada importante means nothing important, means keep moving. So you have nado, I swim. Nado in la piscina, I swim in the pool. Nadas, you swim. Nadas in el oceano, okay? Oceano está allí. Come on, this is ocean with an O at the end and an accent mark over the E. So you swim in the ocean. Nada in el oceano atlantico. And notice your stress is on the A because you have an accent mark here. You have oceano here. Nadamos. Nadamos y jugamos. See that? A-M-O-S. A-M-O-S in la playa. We swim and we play in means either inside, into, or on. So you say on the beach in this case. So you have nadamos y jugamos on the beach. Nadan, they swim, or ustedes, you all swim. Los gemelos, the twins here, they are doing what? They swim and they play on the Atlantic, or I'm sorry, Pacific Ocean. So los gemelos nadan y juegan in el oceano pacifico. You have your accents here, but they're almost the same spelling, Pacific Ocean English. Doesn't put this O here. Nadais en la playa. We play on the beach. El equipo, you remember his name. El equipo, it, a team. It swims because it represents a collective noun in la piscina. So el equipo nada in la piscina, no change of your noun, your sustantivo. El estadio, just to go over. Amateur or lover or something, we went over this in the last slide. La mujer es una aficionado en el equipo. So the woman is an amateur on the team. And that's just to be funny. Sometimes professional athletes get breaks too. But we just put that there. Los deportes, here we go. We're here rollerblading, basketball, soccer, American football, volleyball, swim on the beach, swim in the pool, patinas in línea, basketball, football, football americano, volleyball, nadar en la piscina. And if you remember us with the Jacobitz Learning Group, you can always ask us questions, info at Jacobitz Learning, or you can go to jacobitzlearning.com should you have any questions or concerns. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Gracias por tu apoyo.